If you're under age 45, you know applying for a job isn't just about a resume. It's also about knowing that any hiring manager could be all up in your social media accounts to learn more about you. But New York Governor Kathy Hochul, uh, she actually just signed a new law banning employers from asking workers or job applicants for their personal social media account login information. So I don't know if anybody's ever had that happen. Let's bring in Niall Standage, White House columnist for The Hill. Niall, listen. Listen, li Niall, listen. I, I think that Kathy Hochul, uh, the governor of New York, must have a lot of time on her hands. Because who in the world gets asked when they're applying for a job what their login information is for social media? Well, Adrian, first of all, I always listen to you intently. And <laughs> secondly, I take the point that you're making that who actually gives up their personal information in terms of passwords. This does also bar a related thing, which is hiring managers or employers asking you to open up your social media accounts in front of them. I think it's more viable that that can happen in job interviews. And there was actually a survey done a couple of years ago that said that about one third of recruiters seek access. Now, I don't know exactly what they mean by access, but seek access to applicants' Facebook accounts. So it does happen to some degree. Yeah, well, anybody, if you have a personal account, because again, this doesn't have to be a private account. This could be an account, you could just go on Google and look up Niall Stanage and find out he has a TikTok, right? And you can view what Niall would be posting about. And certainly you don't want your future employer to dig too deep, even though you, I'm sure, have nothing to hide. Uh, no funny stuff, no funny business. But <laughs> this isn't about that. <laughs> this is about logging into your account, Niall. Yes, it is, is to a degree. What is this law for? I'm, I'm really like, what is this law? Will you please deal with immigration, Governor Hochul, and stop messing around with social media interests that don't even matter? Adrian, people can think about more than one thing at one time. Sure, I don't know this that she's thinking important... about it because she's passing the buck to the mayor. But this is an important issue of privacy with all our Niall, lives moving Niall, more online. No, Niall, you've done research. You know that just uh -huh. last year, to, not to get too serious, she was pushing for laws that would gain access to private accounts of people wanting a concealed carry license. So anybody who wanted a weapons license, a gun license in New York, would have to submit social media so that authorities could see if there was any extremism on their, on their pages, on their platforms. Then last year, after the Buffalo shooting, she demanded that social media companies were more strict about making sure that extremists, hate, didn't get you know, popularized on their platforms. But then she passes a law like this that makes absolutely no sense. I, the, the issue of shootings and gun control and all of that relates to a New York uh, regulation that was struck down by the Supreme Court about people having to produce actual reasons for concealed carry licenses. Now, in this issue that you are uh, pretty worked up about, I take the point <laughs> about passwords and logins. I do think there is an issue. Let, no, no, let, let me finish. I do think there's an issue of employers saying, let me see your what's on your Facebook or Instagram no. or TikTok. I don't buy matter. it. Even I, though I'm an open book on these things, obviously. Well, yeah, you are. I'm just saying, I, I just don't think out of the millions of people who are on social media, or maybe billions, I have no idea, but those in New York, how many employers are really going to ask you to log on to their page with them looking over your shoulder? I just, what? I just, what? somebody tweet about it. I want to hear. Go on X. I apologize. Do we still call it tweeting, even though it's yes. X? Marky it's says, or is it going to be Xing? <laughs> I don't as know. As long as no employers can look and see who's sliding into your DMs. <laughs> you That's the main thing. I'm just like, nobody's <laughs> doing that. What are you using your time for in New York? This is a waste of time. Niall Stanage, that's how I really feel. You're never a waste of time, Adrian. You're always a Neither are you, Niall. No, yes, it was a good conversation. It was a passionate conversation. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.